drugs. Shoving a camera in your face, Peanut, do you mind that? Are you sure you don't mind? Okay. Hey there. How is it? Hey. Right then, as you know, I have Photoshop installed on my laptop and I installed that outside when it was warm one day. And um, you can check out that video too if you want. So just loaded it up and it always loads up on the wrong screen for some reason. So this is going to be called thumbnail, thumbnail. And uh, did I spell it right? Yes, I did. This is going to be the thumbnail for the video that's been edited right now. I've come to a point in the video in which I'm taking the thumbnail for that video. So if you're interested, then, you know, watch. And if you're not interested, just click it off and go to another video of mine. So I'm going to go to the folder in which I saved this picture and just drag it on. Now this is a raw picture so I've got these options that pop up. Uh, what I'm going to do is just adjust the exposure. If you press Alt you can see when it starts to become overexposed. Okay now the first thing I'll do is just stretch that out. Sometimes you might end up cutting a bit of the picture off but that's okay. The next thing I'm going to do is sort of straighten it out a little. So I want the top of the amp to be horizontal. That looks about right. There's a grid on here as well. You can enable, show grid. So if I want to be dead on, then that much. Hit enter and then go back into view, show grid or control and plus. Let's see if control and plus works. Control plus Y. What? 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 Right, anyway, so adjust this a little bit more. Move the picture up. So yeah, that seems about right. Now what I'll do is... Um, rasterize that layer that means i can now edit it directly so you see how the carpet on this side is blurry all this section right here is quite blurry apart from obviously the amp so um, i want to add some blur to this side right here polygon lasso tool take the feather down to zero and then i'm going to select the area i want to blur first i'm going to layer via copy but then to that layer, I'm going to add a lens blur. Okay. And then what we'll do is go to this eraser tool. So I'm going to lower the opacity on this. 13 will do. And then in stages, like a barber cutting, cutting somebody's hair, you want, to, you want to do this in layers. So, so I've left this bit here on the side and I've begun from around here, slowly erasing the blur. So you've got to fade that blur out. I could take it down another level and just go over it all again. Once it's all evened out and uh, seem, that seems all right. So once I've blended that, what I'll do is I'll just select that layer and merge it. And now we can adjust the color tone. You can try auto color. That doesn't look too bad actually. If I was to do this manually, what I'd do is I'd go into here, adjustment and go down to color balance, color balance, and then start changing things. So that's me doing it manually. That's what it was before. I've just taken this blur down a little bit more. Just leave it on mid-tones and just give it a slight change. See, that looks a little better. So for the text, what I'm gonna do is something simple. SMD, we'll leave this around here somewhere and type in free air on the right-hand side, free air. What I usually do to make my text stand out a little bit more is add an outline to it. Stroke is what they call it. You can adjust the thickness on it. Right, so for this though, what I want to do is I want to, I want to take it a little further because I can't be asked with all that simple text. I'm going to add a gradient to it and this is how I have mine set up. No caps lock this time, SMD, and it's changed. Duplicate it, Control and J. Get rid of the original one. Make it bigger. Shall we try another layout? Let's try it in Let's try it that way. SMD and that gradient is kind of weird now. So um, okay, let's get this into the center. It would help if I selected that. The gradient has magically sorted itself out and it is now, I've now placed this into the center of um, what I think is the right place to put it. Oh, you know, it's just a thumbnail, put it where you want. You see, I don't usually put text down here because the length of the video shows up on this bit. So I tend to leave everything more or less in the center. Maybe I'll just leave it here. Let's um, duplicate this and add a gradient to it. 
gradient boom um, you see I always do the same gradient um, but it helps to maybe switch it up a little by going like this you see that you see that you can change the direction of the gradient which helps in keeping things keeping things a little different and maybe I should change the gradient on this one change the angle how do you like that? You don't like it? Oh well, never mind. I don't like it either. You see how the point is moving around like this? Maybe it's a little easier to see it on this side? That is the equivalent of me waving my hands around in the air. You see, there's an entire process to the text as well as the picture. Now I know the picture was close to clipping, but the background seems like it could do with a bit more brightening. So what I'm going to do is go to levels and adjust it a little bit more. And you see how it's getting brighter and to be honest it doesn't really matter about these these brighter parts the item in the picture itself is not being overexposed let's bump it up some more so long as like the magnet doesn't lose detail or you know these these terminals here don't lose too much detail i think that's probably fine you might think otherwise but it's my picture so there you go let's put the text back now when you add a stroke to these or an outline They'll stand out even more because the background is overexposed. It's uh, got all that white behind it. So that is how I do my thumbnails, more or less. I might play around with the text even more. I might add uh, a shadow to it or um, I might just completely change it altogether. But that is more or less how I do my thumbnails. And they can zoom out a little bit to see how they would appear on YouTube. That is a quick preview to what the video, or at least the thumbnail anyway, you're not really gonna get much of an idea what the video is gonna be like, but uh, so yeah, that is all, I guess. Um, see you in the next video. Drugs and guns.